this time next year, Holtec will hire 300 to 400 people and they'll be working on this facility. And we'll have about a thousand people here working by the end of the decade. It's a big promise from the technology company. It designs, manufactures, and installs equipment mainly for the nuclear power industry. About 200 construction workers are on site any given day. Roughly 35 are Camden residents. We're working with the local board of education and we've also worked with uh, Camden County College to put curriculums in place so when these students graduate, they can come to Holtec at different skill levels and join our apprenticeship program that we're going to have. So our goal is to grow world-class fabricators uh, from the local community and have them work in Holtec. Once it's complete, the Holtec manufacturing campus will house three main buildings with more than 600,000 square feet of space on this former shipyard site. So the first major phase that Holtec is going to be needing, they're going to be needing folks who, who are able to weld. Um, so what we've done is we held two um, like mini job fairs, if you will, for welders. Holtec received a $260 million tax incentive from the state to relocate here. The company gets the money after it's up and running, with new jobs and new taxes generated. They've pledged to hire locally, and the firm is working with the County One Stop Center to make it happen. For years and years and years, there's been a lot of, you know, big announcements and big things that are going on. Um, so, you know, there is some skepticism that's going around right now. But right now, if you look around, it's happening. It's real. Usually, jobs are like two, two hours away. You know, working in Newark sometime, Atlantic City. This is right around the corner, you know, right in my backyard. Been waiting for this all my life, you know what I mean? It's finally here. But there are still the naysayers, those who question the return on investment for this third largest tax break given to date. It's choosing winners and losers in the marketplace. We've also found that it's been a really bad return on investment. And the other thing is Main Street, New Jersey, they don't get these types of politically connected incentives. I think all you have to do is walk around site and look at the investment that we're making and the number of jobs that we're going to create and that you know it's real. If all goes according to plan, the future of Haltech will lie in the production for a small modular reactor, and that could mean thousands of jobs. One great thing about Camden, have a lot of infrastructure, have the rail lines close, and we're going to have a rail line that actually comes into the building to bring the raw material in, and it will also allow us to bring the finished product out. Every day I see a, I see a change in my neighborhood, especially when I come home and they see me, another positive example, you know, working and they want to be a part of it. So the neighborhood is happy um, and, you know, it's hopeful. It's hope. It's hope. In Camden, I'm Brianna Venozzi, NJTV News.